Hello and welcome back. And uh, in this video, we are going to be creating a custom class for our UI table view cell. Uh, sorry, UI collection view cell. Uh, so right now, if you remember, in uh, the at the very beginning, of what we did basically for our uh, collection cell uh, to show up is basically this label that we have. Uh, uh, for the cell, we were uh, referencing that or we were referring to that uh, label using this tag property that we use have. Now, um, that's an okay idea, like you know, as long as you have a very simple uh, user interface. But uh, let's say you have like a, a complex user interface, uh, it's going to be really hard to manage these uh, tags. So, uh, what you can do basically is uh, you can create a uh, a custom class and that that custom class uh, will be responsible for um, basically handling anything that goes on inside that custom uh, that cell now uh, in our case uh, because we are ready to uh, work on delete uh, operation uh, before we do that like you know we want to add one more uh, label here uh, that's going to show our check mark to show like you know the items that are selected for delete uh, functionality. Um, so for that reason, we have to actually add uh, that uh, add that new label uh, in place. Now, like table view, uh, collection view does not come with uh, built-in uh, delete uh, functionality. So you have to actually uh, create it uh, by on your own. Uh, so for that reason, uh, why we are gonna, uh, what we're gonna do is basically, we're gonna have a new uh, label that's gonna show if the item is selected or not when the user clicks on it. And then when user clicks on it, uh, then uh, we're gonna show the selected state. And uh, when they're done selecting, we're gonna show them a trash button where they can hit that button to delete those items and we're going to remove those items uh, from our uh, backing data store as well as from the collection view okay so that's the plan uh, but before we actually work on that plan we need uh, this custom cell uh, uh, that needs to be uh, created so uh, let's go ahead and create this custom cell and then uh, we'll uh, basically uh, add those labels and start working towards uh, the delete functionality that we are trying to achieve in this uh, collection view